Well, good morning, guys, or good afternoon, I should say. Uh, it's been a long day. Anyway, um, yeah, I got home yesterday and last night. I received this big old huge box full of paper. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a laundry basket. Big old box fits right in, or that laundry basket fits right in that box. Anyway, uh, so no, that's not what was in there. This is what was in there. So, this is what we got here. Also, tools. It says tool backpack. Pretty cool. Uh, I've actually been watching some videos <clears throat> on this backpack. Here's the backpack right here. It's pretty big backpack. I did not think it was this big. Um, anyway, pretty cool backpack. Um, so this is what I use for my tools when I go to the junkyard. As you can see, it's all trashed. Um, not really trash, but gets all dirty, rolls around in the dirt. Um, I had to take a bunch of tools out of here. Um, this probably weighs about 35 pounds worth of tools. And, uh, can't fit like, uh, my electric, my little DeWalt impacts. Um, you know, can't fit half inch, three eighths inch in there or anything like that. Uh, I could probably fit one in there, but then the thing weighs even more. So anyways, I've been watching videos of people getting this backpack. And was like, well that's pretty cool. I, I really would like to have this backpack. So, also Tools ended up sending me one. Sent me this to uh, review it. To check it out and to share it so pockets are pretty big um, it's got the little buckle here um, that you can adjust um, once you put stuff in there you can put uh, you know phones whatever stuff in there for when you're crawling around under cars at the junkyard that's that's my main focus of this backpack is junkyarding. Um, like I said, I've been watching people uh, unpackage them, review them for about uh, two weeks now and I've been wanting one. It was like pretty cool, man. Uh, so uh, they emailed me or messaged me on Instagram. So check them out on Instagram. Olsa Tools. O-L. SA tools. Check them out on Instagram. It was they messaged me and said that they were gonna send me one. So got a mesh mesh backpack padding right here. Um, it's got this little channel right in here for ventilation, I guess you could say. Adjustable straps. Um, it is it is bigger than I thought it would be. Um, which I'm totally fine with that. Anyway, and you got this rubberized bottom, so when you set it down, you can set it down. And let's get to the inside. So, zippers, pretty stout zippers. Um, let me open this real quick. Um, but anyway, it's a nice little addition to anyone's tool. Oh, well, I didn't even know it had all these. So it's got all these compartments. So all these little pockets. That one goes about three quarters of the way. Those ones go about nine inches deep. Anyway, 
so pretty nice screwdriver holders. Uh, you could totally set this up for wrenches, you know, like two or three wrenches in each of these little pockets. Uh, wouldn't necessarily put sockets in these, but you can put stuff in here. Um, but anyway, uh, pretty nice little backpack. Pretty cool little thing. You could uh, get some carabiners, you know, hook them on here, carry some uh, extra stuff. You can probably even carry on the side, like, uh, you know, power tools for this right here. So, this might be a little hard for me to do. Just hang it off the edge. So, not sure if that's what it was int intended for, but you can hang power tools off the edge of just this edge. So if you got a drill or whatever. Um, all the DeWalt's have the little screw holes for the little belt hook. So anyway, you can just hang a impact off there. You know, stick a well, your electric ratchet inside there. It's taller than a normal backpack. It also has these handles up here. Pretty nice backpack. I'm actually really excited I got it. Um, wife told me I got a package in the mail and she said, you got your seat covers. Said, seat covers? What is she talking about? So, I, I think she thought this was seat covers um, for my truck or for my car. But anyway, so it stands in... Uh, you know, 22 inches tall. So, 22 inches tall. It is... Go from the edge... To the edge... Uh, we'll call it 16 inches wide. And the thickness of it... Or the depth... We'll say from there... We'll say 10 inches. So, 16 wide 10 inches 10 inches deep and uh what do we say 22 inches 22 inches tall and i'm sure that will change uh that'll change when uh you know you have tools in there and you have it loaded down and packed so what i'll end up doing is cleaning up all this um putting stuff in here um what's good about from going from this, so those are my, you know, some gloves that I use. So they're all trashed. Um, anyway, going from this to this will be, you know, I'll have, I'll be able to have gloves in here, uh, paper towels either in here, or I could stick a roll of paper towels inside here. Um, anyway, it'll just keep it more organized. So when I go. Getting junkyard parts, <clears throat> um, I won't have to carry and, you know, I can carry a backpack strapped and, you know, carry parts instead of toting the backpack in my hands or a bag in my hand and toting parts so I can have both hands carrying parts. I don't know if you get what I mean, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for Ulsa Tools. Pretty cool, man. Uh, if you just go on to their website, ulsatools.com, www, or you can call them at 877-252-ULSA. Uh, and uh, check them out, and whatever you buy, if you... Uh, Put in half H A L F um, as a code, a discount code. You will get a ten percent off your purchase. So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but half H A L F, just like it sounds. Anyway, all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys. Give me a like. Go check them out. 
awesome. I'm excited with this for this bag. Um, give me a like, subscribe. You can subscribe up over here. Check out my previous video over here, and uh, check out my boy One and Glenn. His videos right in here. But alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.